Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Alright, welcome back to Angling and Anxiety. Um, this is the first part of a three parts sort of a series, as it were. It's not a series. Um, basically, Drive and Survive part, uh, part three. So first time we've done, I caught the tuna, we've done a lot of fishing at Porth Kerris. Um, second time we went to Wales, didn't catch a thing. A couple of little schooly bass, um, just walked lots. This time we're going back to first part, I'll be going to Hampshire and I'll be catching, well catching, running ahead of yourself there, probably won't catch, but I'm gonna go and have a go for another fresher shark. Um, I've got to leave today, it's Saturday. I've got to leave today, I'm leaving in a minute, um, and park up, moor my boat, and then leave at three in the morning to get out to try and desperately find some mackerel. These mackerel are plaguing my brain, I'm not even out of it yet. Um, try and find some mackerel for some live bait, then drive around to the mark, um, then fish for the day, then come back, leave Charlie in the car park, and then I'm making my way solo down to Falmouth um, for a couple of days on the Blue Sharks on Anglo Dawn. I'm actually just going to be going straight back to Porth Kerris because I love it. The weather this weekend is going to be impeccable, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the anxiety started. I started overthinking a little bit about stuff. But yeah, should be all right. Fingers crossed for a fresher, man. I'm confident we're going to get a Blue Shark. I mean, you never know, but I'm confident. Um, I'm bringing all my own chum. Um, and yeah, it's just, can we get the live bait for the freshest? That's the question. But it's, I'm just going to document a whole lot. I'm sleeping in my van for four days. I'm going to stink. But again, it's an adventure. It's a representation of the everyday battle with mental health. Um, it's going to be strenuous. It's going to be hard work, but... Hopefully we get a few fish in it out of it and on the way back it's sort of like I'll be celebrating and happy. So I just think. <laughs> yeah, let's get ourselves down there, man. Um Yeah. Let's get ourselves down to Portsmouth. Well people. That's a good start, isn't it? God's sake. I'm hot, I'm fuming. Ever stay in my Chum in the back of frosting. Jank. Right, a bit of positive news. Um, I don't know if it's positive or not, but basically my wife's uncle is a mechanic and he's got about 20 different cars in his, in his garden and he's hopeful that he is going to have a tyre there for me and a wheel. Um, the problem is I'm on a very main road, look. People are whizzing down at silly speeds. Um, it's getting a little bit worrying to be honest with you. There is nowhere to pull over, that's the problem. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, that's all I can say. Sorted like walkers. We're back on the road! Woo -woo -woo! We made it, people, we made it. But Charlie here, the South Pole animal, with his mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie actually lost a fresher um, last weekend, so we we're hoping that. These rods going to go off and we're going to regain his fresher. We're in Tesco's now. Um, got a boat in the water within a nick of time. Absolute dramas after that wheel. I had to pull over in a motor. I had a funny noise in my boat, um, in my van. Got it all sorted though. Managed to get it within about 10 minutes of high tide being gone. Well, not high tide, like after we was there three, and, three hours after high tide. So just in a nick of time. Um, yeah, we're just at Tesco's getting some supplies. All the essentials. <laughs> um, so yeah, just gonna it's gonna be a hot day tomorrow, so we're we're uh, we're getting prepared up with a lot of drinks and a lot of stuff. But the next scene will be in the boat in the morning, trying to get some mackerel. Pray for the mackerel. See you in a minute. Nope, I oh know. <laughs> I'm not in the water yet. It's one in the morning. 
gotta get up in three hours and I can't sleep, man. Charlie spilled some petrol in there earlier, and that's just not helping the situation. But what was that there? Charles just rang me and he's seen a fresher in the shadows. And that's just my sleeping even worse. This is impossible, mate. Properly impossible. I've got to drive to Cornwall tomorrow as well, man. After fishing all day. Things I do, eh? Things I do. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Not a drop of sleep. <laughs> Not a drop of sleep. It's a joke, mate. Look at that for a sunrise, mate. Or well, only sunrise, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I decided I was going to take myself to the boat last night. I couldn't sleep in the van. It's too much petrol coming out here late out here. It's too cold out here, but here's all it is. Oh, got a feather set up. Got to go out, try hard for a Mackie. Um, get the light bait sorted first. Just warming up the engine. And then it's time to get out there, man. But there you go. That is beautiful scenes if I've seen them. Let's go. Right guys, we haven't found any mackerel, but what we've found is four scad. Um, which are similar to mackerel, but they're not quite similar. We're happy enough with them, we're going to have to do the job. Um, if no mackies turn up. But, they're not mackerel. But either way, they're alive bait. Right? They swim around, and I don't think a fresher shark turn his nose up at one, so fingers crossed. We can get a couple more. I'm going to have one little reel in, then I'm going to move down there slightly. Um, have another little cut of drops, and then that's it. I'm wrapped up because I don't want to be wasting time. It's nice and slow in the retrieval. Give it a little, uh, there you go, fish on. See what they fight these scat, they really do fight. I've got a 200 gram jigging rod here which I use for blue sharks. Um, and they're absolutely hammering it. This is definitely a scat. Hopefully it's not too big, that's the problem is. The problem is we don't want too big a live bait. But definitely a fish on it. Old scrap on the 200 gram. There we go. There's a scatter. They've got nasty spikes on the back of these fish. Don't wait. Got those in, mate. Got like a bass like dorsal fin. Like a mini barracuda. See what it won't be a live bait for much longer. Get him in the live bait tank. And we he's alright. We're gonna get on our way people so happy days. Let's go. We're on our way guys. The floats are out. Lovely, lovely chumstick running out there. As you can see, that's no good in that, and it's going that top one. Um, so, yeah, just sort of keeping you in a loop, rods are out, chums chumming. Um, let's see what happens. It's not the target, people, but it's the beauty of a tote. Bring her here, Chuck. Oh, he's angry. Got that, Char? Got that? Got that, yeah. Lovely tote. Same as on the other gear. Yeah, because it's felt too easy to get in. It's a big old tote, that is. It's 
straight to the scissors, as you can see, people, look. Lovely mouth. Look at that. Nice big old toad. Monster. It's not the shark we're intending of, but it's a shark, so happy days at the end of the day. Lovely big choke for big charmonger. <laughs> yeah, ain't the target, but have a look at that monster. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Get a little picture of it, please. Yeah, I'll get a picture for him. Look at that mouth. You wouldn't want to be a, you want to be a scat on the end of that, would you? No. Nope. <laughs> Top going back, people. It's a big old toad. And off he goes. Look at him. Look. Oh, well, cool man. All right, first fish. We ain't blank. We ain't caught the fresher yet, but we will. Another lovely tote, people. Tide's just turning now, so just starting to drift the other way. But look at him. That's cool. Just stuck. Just stuck, yeah. Right, fish on, guys. Funny feeling. Oh, my arms are falling. Tell you what. It's pulling off. It's pulling off. It's a 30 50 pound glass, is it? Not a big tote. Not as big as the last one. But. Tote regardless. They fight so hard, mate, these tote. This is on 30 50 pound rod. I'm probably bending it over. I don't fight hard. Right. Put it on other. Um, the float's gone under. Yeah. Let me read it in. Yeah. Right, guys, bring it back to me. Oh, it's quite big. Nice little tote, guys. Nice shoes on. Angry little geezer. Strong, strong fish. <laughs> Desperately trying to bite me. Trying to bite me now, like the core. <laughs> yeah. Nice long lean fish. Absolute fighting monsters, mate. Gonna get a couple of photos and then uh, bring it back. As you can see, people, it's super choppy out here. Give me all that noise as well. Oh, that's what annoying, isn't it? Look at that, this is a mill pond. In the middle of a deep blue sea. Love it. Charles already got his body and it's only 8 in the morning. You ain't scared, mate. That's just excuse Charlie swearing. As you can see, people, she is super choppy out here. Lovely job. Chilling there in the shorts. Charles got his body out with his nicotine patch in his shoulder. Don't say that on there for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a massive splash guys. Proper fresh splash. I'm just hoping that I might catch it on camera. My heart's hurt my chest. <laughs> Charles heart's hurt his chest. His chest is out his jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I don't know if you can see, there's like a green, a layer of green weed that sits in the top, sort of 10 to 10 metres of water, or at least that's what I think it sits in. Um, so I like to put my baits just underneath that because there's low visibility up in that. It's <coughs> a little tip for anyone. I may mean, disagree, but that's what it is. Just a dillock out here, mate. Fully a dillock. Type have quietened up now, which is handy. Just gonna have to wait for that big girl. That's a tope. Yeah, Definitely a pain in the bum tope again, guys. <laughs> On the 80 pound class rod. Take it over the top of that. Bloody nonsense. 
It's alright if you're on light gear guys, but when you're fishing heavy gear, they're just a nuisance. It's just a pain. Bring it over here because there's a... Right, winch him up. Right, two seconds guys, two seconds. Let's just give us a camera in. Well, it's definitely going to be a tote. Yeah. It's a big tote though. Oh yeah, it's a monster. Alright guys, it's getting to the point now. These are literally taking it on the drop. It's beyond a joke. Oh, yeah. Look at them, look. Tope after tope. We're in double figures now over the amount of tope we've caught. Unbelievable. Never bad, never bad though, never bad. We're doing something right. Get this one hooked again. And uh, <laughs> ah, bring it back in a minute. Look at it, it's still power, look, power, power. All right, bring it back. This is the all important bit you've been waiting for, guys. We've been bitten by a shark. <laughs> Look at that. Dumb me. <laughs> Got some dolphins here, guys. Well cool, man. See him there? Coming straight for the boat. Look at that. That's so cool. Beautiful. If we see if we catch dolphins, there's plenty of them now. <laughs> 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 I think you've got a nap, people. Got a type on this one, guys. See it running up there, pain in the bum. It's just saying it's getting nice and quiet, which is what we want. Yeah. <laughs> I best strike it. I'll touch her. Is it? You have a double look up there. Charles lost his. One's definitely a top. Oh, 
That's a monster. Size of that. Big, big tote, man. You can put your leg in front of that one. <laughs> That's a big one, mate. Hey, you like the Right, I'm going to get it up in the boat, guys. Bring it back. Look at that for a clunker, guys. Hey, new PB tote. It's half heavy. Look at that mouth. Beautiful eyes. Happy days. So we let it go. See right, you ready, guys? I'll see you guys straight back down to the deeps. Yeah, I didn't get a chance. All right, Charles just imagined that he's seen a shark beyond my float, so I'm just going to record it because it's going to go off in a minute. One, two, three. <laughs> Go. Oh no, it's Yeah, alarm. Source alarm guys. We've had to call a lifeguard because it's really choppy out here. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm well tired, look at me. Hello. Can I keep my eye open? Sun's really in it. But no, nah. loads of taupe. No freshers as of yet, still got loads of chum left. No live bait, which is annoying, because if you're trying to catch freshers, it's pretty key. Um, if I've probably already said that, I'll probably repeat it myself. <sighs> yeah, just keep going, keep fishing, fishing hard, chumming hard. Give that chum a shake, Joe. Just keep chumming hard, fishing hard, and praying for the sharks. That's all we can do. We're actually drifting over where I had my last fresher shark, so. We're in the right area. Just have to see. We're going to see, man. Trial and error, innit? Right, guys. We're calling it a day, man. It's a lovely day, don't get me wrong. Um, absolutely beautiful. But, um, I've got a long drive ahead of me to go to Cornwall. I've still got to put the boat in and stuff and get that sorted in the mooring. Um, and unknown, and his mate have broken down, so we need to go and tow them as well. So, it is what it is. You've got to help another fellow man out because you never know when you need help yourself. But yeah, this is the first instalment. Um, I'll be heading to Cornwall after a little power nap. Um, it's now two in the afternoon. We've been out here since four, so it's a long run. Do you know what I mean? Um, loads of taupe, like you've seen. Um, you would have only seen a handful of them. We've literally had God knows how many taupe. Um, no freshers, but you can't win them all. They're hard to catch these big freshers, you know what I mean? Um, I can't be expected to go out and catch them every time, nor can anyone really, do you know what I mean? But fishing's fishing at the end of the day. Um, well, I'll keep trying, believe me. Next next target is going to be the poor beagles again. I know a spot um, where they're going to be, thanks to a friend of mine, Mark Adams. So if you're watching Mark, legend. Um, yeah, going to get out and have a go at them soon, probably next weekend. But for now, what I'm going to do is get myself home. Um, not get myself home, see what I mean? I'm tired. Get wrapped up. Um, basically, this is the end of the video. Um, sweet is enough for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Um, constant, constant, constant footage. That's all I can promise you. Everything fishing related, I'm doing it. Um, especially the big game stuff on my old little 17 foot boat. But yeah. Wicked stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the summer. Take care.